Hello everybody, uh, I'm doing a tune-up on my Ram today with the Hemi, it's a 2012 model. I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail of how to do the job. A couple of videos out there already, basically you take out the old plugs and you put in new ones. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you some things that will save you some time here, make the job a little less painful. Uh, especially if you have a lift kit like I do, the only option is really just to climb up on top of the engine and lay across it. And uh, you want to save as much time up at, up there as you can because that's where it really gets painful. So uh, what we're going to do here is a step to minimize our time up there. Go ahead and get, uh, I'm just doing a bank at a time. Got the eight plugs for the uh, passenger side. I've already done the driver's side. And uh, go ahead and get everything ready to go while you're out here and you're not having to lay across the engine. Go ahead and put your anti-seize lubricant on the threads. You want to make sure you use that anytime you're doing a spark plug change. Um, those plugs sit in there for a long time and they're exposed to a lot of heat. And uh, especially with the difference in materials between aluminum heads, you don't want them to seize up in there. Uh, go ahead and put your dielectric grease on the, uh, the uh, ceramic portions and a little bit on the, uh, the metal part up here where the plug clips on. Uh, and that'll keep the boot from seizing to the plugs over time. Uh, also check your gap with a nice gap tool like this. They make some other ones, but this one has the uh, parts on the end that, are, that make it pretty easy to adjust the gap if you need to. And then uh, decided to get a magnetic socket. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the little rubber inserts on the other ones don't really hold on to the plugs very well, and you don't want to drop them into the, the plug hole too violently because you don't want to uh, have it jarring around and maybe hitting the uh, the electrode and closing up the gap. So go ahead and do all this prep work before you have to get up on top of the engine and then uh, I opened all my boxes the same way you know so I have a little white part that I opened and this is gonna be a little difficult to do with one hand but uh, if you put all your plugs in the same way like like so I'm gonna take this one slide it in the box it's kinda hard. Alright there you go so get it in the box and then when you're in the engine bay, laying across it, aching like hell, all you got to do is take your socket, put it down in the box, the magnet will grab the plug, and you can pull it right out. And uh, the advantage of that way is that um, you're not getting the dielectric grease all over your fingers. So when you go into, you know, finger tighten, you know, you're, going, you're in there turning the, the socket, uh, it's not as slick. You know, it's a little easier to, to hold on to there. So... Like I said, it's just a matter of, you know, I've got a box here that I'm going to throw all the, uh, the plugs in. These are the empty boxes, but throw them all in here. I'll just grab one, slide the socket in, grab out the uh, plug, put it in the hole, and finger tighten it in. Then do the, uh, you know, torque it down and everything. So that'll save me a lot of time on top of the engine bay. And uh, it's going to hopefully make everything a little less achy. So that's the tip there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.